Hey guys, this is Andrew with HKN, and today I'm going to do a problem which you could find in either systems analysis, which is ECE 3111, or ECE 3101, which is signals and systems. So very often when we're working in the frequency domain, it's really useful. Uh, we can do our operations there, we can do some analysis there, but once we're done, we need to convert back to the time domain in order to have a function that we can recognize. And one of the ways that we can do that is with an inverse Fourier transform. Uh, so the function that I'm going to take the inverse Fourier transform of today is this one here, f of omega is the rectangle function of omega minus 10 over 2 pi, where the rectangle function of omega is defined up here. And again, we're looking for f of t. So the inverse Fourier transform, which I write with a fancy f, inverse of a function f of omega, is equal to 1 over 2 pi, the integral from negative infinity to infinity, of f of omega e to the j omega t d omega. So we're going to, you can use a table to take the inverse transform, but we're actually going to evaluate this integral for this, considering it's pretty easy and shows some good uh, concepts. So let's just plug in what our rectangle function is, but first let's figure out the nature of this rectangle function. So the general one is it's one between negative one half and positive one half. Let's see what happens here. So between negative one half and positive one half, we have omega minus 10 over 2 pi. So if we do some manipulation here, we end up with between negative pi and pi, we have omega minus 10, which eventually gives us that between 10 minus pi and 10 plus pi, our function is one and otherwise it will be zero. So from here we can pretty easily do this integral. So out front we have that f of t is going to be equal to 1 over 2 pi. The integral, so we can do this, we have to do this from negative infinity to infinity, but outside of these bounds the function is going to be zero. So we're just going to take it from 10 minus pi to 10 plus pi. And we're going to be integrating 1 so, and then we have to add on the e to the j omega t d omega. So this is just integrating an exponential function, not too difficult. So the integral of an exponential function, we end up with 1 over 2 pi j t e to the j omega t evaluated from 10 minus pi to 10 plus pi. So if we plug in here, we end up with 1 over 2 pi jt e to the jt 10 plus pi minus e to the jt 10 minus pi. So very quickly we have a term here that can be factored out. Both of these things have e to the j 10t which can be pulled out. So if we do that we end up with e to the j 10t divided by 2 pi jt times e to the j pi t minus e to the minus j pi t. So this, these two exponentials here look very, should look very familiar. This is the general definition for a sine function if you were to divide by 2j here. Luckily we have a 2j over here, so we should be able to just utilize that and instead make this e to the j 10t 
over to uh, pi t. Pi t. Utilize that 2j to make this sine of pi t. So that's, uh, if you don't get that, you should review your hyperbolic definitions of sine and cosine. So one other thing we can do here is we have a sine pi t over pi t. And if you remember, we have a function which is called sinc of x, which is defined as the sine of x divided by x. So we can replace this here. And we end up with e to the j 10 t sinc of pi t. And so that is actually equal to our time domain function. If you were to draw it, it would look something like this. It would get very, very small very quickly. Um, but also this e to the j 10t here probably has some oscillations to it. But it's known that the inverse Fourier transform of a boxcar function is a sinc function. So it was very nice that we ended up with that. And the reverse is true as well. The inverse Fourier transform of a sinc function gets you a boxcar. So uh, you can, this is the long way to do it. Obviously you can use a table to evaluate these with some identities, but the math works, it always works. So hope you guys learned something and see you next time.